Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you a project that I created uh, for Lindy's Stamp Gang and I'm going to share with you the products that I used um, as I share with you the project. Um, so I made um, some altered clothes pins and um, this is a special gift that I created um, for someone and I thought it would be fun to create um, a little holder to hold my clothes pins in and so what I did was I used a 12 by 12 um, design paper by Prima. It's the Rondell collection and I like it because it's um, really gorgeous papers and also it's double sided. And then on the front here um, I tied some seam binding which I sprayed with the Starburst spray and I used uh, the salt water taffy. And for this butterfly here I used a Martha Stewart punch and I sprayed that with some scintillating silver. And then here I have a sentiment that says you are totally and completely awesome. And that was a little chipboard piece from um, Basic Gray. And then I added some vintage trim um, underneath. And then on the I'm Roses flowers I sprayed this flower um, with this really gorgeous um, Silver Night Silver. It's a starburst spray. And then I sprayed some of these smaller flowers um, again with the scintillating silver. And then when you open it up, it's just really cute way to display the clothespins. You just pull out the seam binding. And again, this is just made with one 12 by 12 paper. And on the edges of the paper, I distressed with my um, distressing tool. And so it opens up like this. And then here are the clothespins. You can see. Really fun. So um, what I did was I add some of these large eyelets, and that's what I ran the seam binding through on all four sides right here, you can see. And this is how I added the seam binding. I just tied a knot and ran it through. Um, and the large eyelet. Down below here I created actually this little pocket to hold the clothespin in and then I add some again some more of the same vintage trim and then these are the clothespins and on each of these clothespins what I did was it was just just a regular clothespin and then I painted the entire clothespin with um, the vintage white acrylic paint by Folk Art and then I took some of my magicals and um, painted over that using the paint, uh, the water brush, which is also available on the website, and it comes in a pack of three. For this clothespin right here, take this out. You can see all that shimmer on there. It's really gorgeous. I first painted that with the cotton candy pink in the magical, and then I sprayed over it with the scintillating silver. And then I added my charm. You can see here, this little perfume bottle and some beads here. And I just really love the shimmer. I really wanted to um, stamp some sentiments on the clothespin, but then I also wanted it to have the shimmer on there and the bangicles and the um, scintillating silver was just perfect for it. So I stamped this word, Girl Talk. And that's using this uh, Making Memories the Express It stamp. It's a magnetic stamp set. So that is that clothespin. And then it just goes in like that. And then on this one, the color that I used was the Clam Bake Beige in the Magicals. And I did the same thing. I sprayed with a scintillating silver. And then I added this crown and heart charm. And again, I just love the shimmer on there. And then on this one, I did um, the same thing, except that I used Ramblin' Rose Pink in the Magicals. And then I add the feather and this cute little shoe, and then stamp the word Sassy. And then this one I stamped, you can see the word Princess on there. And it just makes a really cute um, clothespin, and you can stamp any sentiment on there. Really adorable. And it's really easy to, here, let me show you how I close it first. So you just basically take the seam binding and you put it through the holes here. 
And I also corner around the edges of the, the paper too. So it closes like that. And then you take the bottom one and add the seam binding through there. And then you just do the top one. Kind of reminds me of the balsa box, the way it looks in the front. And you just do that, like there. And then you just tie it, just tie a knot. I tie a bow first. So I make it long enough to where I could tie another bow. So there's two bows there. And it looks like that. Really fun. So let me show you how easy it is. So here I have a clothespin, which I went ahead and painted it already with the vintage white. And then I'm just going to take um, the magical, I'm going to use the cotton candy pink, and then I'm going to use the paint brush, I'm sorry, the water brush, and then I'm just going to add a little here, and I'm just going to brush it on, and you can already see the really pretty shimmer on there. So it really paints nicely onto these clothespins. I'm just going to do that, and then do that also to the bottom. Okay, so that's how quick and easy it is. And then all you have to do is just take your um, glitz spray, and then just spray that on top of that. And I'm going to take this here. And I'm just gonna take a just take a piece of board here. I'm gonna spray it on. And then you're just gonna stamp your sentiment on top. And the ink that I use is the Rangers Archival ink um, because it's waterproof. And then you can see all that gorgeous shimmer on there. It's really pretty. So again, that's using um, the Magicals and the Starburst spray and then the glitz spritz. And I'll put all the information down below. So thank you for watching, bye.